We are going to look at a problem related to age. Let's assume that there are two people. One is Tom and Sarah. Tom is 26 years old. Sarah is 12 years old. Right. In this case, let's see what is the difference in their age. 26 minus 12, which gives us 14 years. So the difference is 14 years. Uh, between Tom and Sarah. Now let's fast forward. After 10 years, what happens? What will be uh, Tom's age after 10 years? That's going to be 36 years. 26 plus 10. He will be 36 years old in 10 years time. Now Sarah's age will be 12 plus 10, which will be 22 years old. Now what is their difference after 10 years? The difference in their ages. 36 minus 22, which gives us 14 years. Now, what do we see here? The difference in their age does not change with age, right? So, whatever be the number of years here, after 20 years, their difference would still be 14 years. So, this is the concept or this is the logic that we are going to use behind the problem that we are about to solve for age related problems. Age difference remains the same. The question here is Sarah's age is 3 over 7 of Tom's age. Sarah's age is 3 over 7 of Tom's age. Now in terms of ratio what does that mean? Sarah, the ratio of Sarah's age to that of Tom's age is 3 is to 7. Again, for a un in using unit method, we will have Sarah who has 3 units. Sarah's age is rep represented by 3 units and Tom's age is going to be represented by 7 units here. Right. That's how we represent Sarah's age is 3 over 7 of Tom's age. If you want a shortcut when you have something uh, shown here in terms of a fraction, remember Sarah's age will be 3 units, Tom's age will be 7 units here. Now we move on. In 18 years time, which means Sarah's age would have increased by 18 and Tom's age would have increased by 18. What happens in 18 years time? Sarah's age or her age will be three-fifths of Tom's age. Again the same here. Sarah's age will be three units and Tom's age will be five units represented by five units. So, Sarah's age is represented by 3 units while Tom's age is represented by 5 units and you see here the unit sizes are different. They are not the same as here, right? This one unit may be representing 2 years, 3 years, 4 years, we don't know, but definitely with in 18 years time, the, si the unit sizes is going to be set different although the unit number of units here is 3 and the number of units here is 3 the size of the unit is not the same but we do know one thing that is whatever be the unit sizes the difference in age is going to remain the same so here the difference is 7 units minus 3 units is 4 units and what is the difference here? It's going to be 5 minus 3, which is 2 units. Now, what we understand here is the difference here is 4 units, which means this 4 units should be equal to the 2 units here. Because we know that the difference remains the same. Now here you have 4 units and you have 2 units. We know that if 2 units is equal to 4 units, this 2, each of these 2 units is equal to 2 units again of this size. Right? So, we know that 1 unit here becomes 2 units of this size. 
I'm going to apply this here. That will give me, you know, a representation of the same unit sizes. When I do this, now you can see here Sarah's age was represented by three units. When you add 18 to it, it became six units of the same size. So this clearly shows that these three units is the same as these three units. So then this 18 should be equal to three units here. So let's go ahead. Three units plus 18 gives you six units, which means six minus three is three units is equal to 18 years. One unit is 18 divided by three, which is six years. Now we come back to the question, how old will Tom be by then? Meaning after 18 years, what will be Tom's age? Now we are going to have a look at how many units are there here. So there are 10 units here, which means Tom's age is 10 times 6, 60 years. Since we have found out each unit here is 6, and there are 10 units, so Tom's age is 60 years. So this is using the model method to solve this problem, but still the concept you have to remember is that the difference remains the same, right? So now we will go ahead and see how we can solve this same problem by using algebra. Let's say this is a mistake here. It's supposed to come back later. So just disregard this for the time being. So in terms of algebra, how would we represent Sarah's age and Tom's age? Because we know that Sarah's age is 3 seventh of Tom's age, which means the ratio is 3 is to 7. So we will represent Sarah's age by 3x and Tom's age will be 7x, right? So in 18 years time, Sarah's age will be 3x plus 18 and Tom's age will also will be 7x plus 18, right? And what is the result after 18 years? Again, here, the relationship between Sarah's age and Tom's age is given as 3 is to 5. So that will be 3y and 5y. Now, why do we put y and x is here and y here? Because this is the ratio before 18 years. Their ratio is 3 is to 7. And after 18 years, the ratio is 3 is to 5. So we know that the unit sizes here are not going to be the same. So we are representing the before units as in terms of x and after units in terms of y. Now, one way of solving this is by using substitution method. So here we know that the difference remains the same. So 7x minus 3x is 4x. 18 minus 18 cancels out 5y minus 3y is equal to 2y so 2y is equal to 4x what does that give us 1y will be equal to 2x now we know that 1y is equal to 2x let's see what is 3y right 3y is equal to 3 times 2 6x. So this 3y is actually represented or equivalent to 6x. Now let's take it out and write it down here. So 3x plus 18 is equal to 3y which we know is equal to 6x. So 6x minus 3x is equal to 18 which shows 3x is equal to 18 and 1x is equal to 6. So we know how much 
what is the value of x which is 6 here. Now let's try to use this information that we have the value of x to find out Tom's age now which is 5y. So I'm going to take this equation here and say 7x plus 18 equals 5y and we know the value of x 1x is equal to 6 so 7x would be equal to 7 times 6 which is 42 and then plus 18 equals 5y so we know that 5y is equal to 42 plus 18 which is 60 and 1y do we have to figure out 1y no because his current age, Tom's current age, after 18 years, Tom's age is going to be 5y. So, which means Tom's age is 60 years. This is the algebraic method. One way of algebraic method. Right? There are other ways of uh, solving it using algebra itself. But this is just one of the algebraic uh, way of solving this problem. I hope. Uh, this was helpful. Uh, please do uh, give your comments about this and if you have any doubts do uh, put in the comment section so I can actually try to answer you. Thank you very much uh, for watching this. Please do subscribe and like the videos. Share it with your friends if you find this to be useful. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.